Hey guys, Zach Copes here with the Harrisonburg Homes team and Klein May Realty, your realtor in Harrisonburg and Rockingham County. And today I am downtown in Harrisonburg. I want to show you a very unique home, 508 East Wolf Street. And it's on the market right now. So get with your realtor or call me if you want to take a look and check it out. But today we're going to go inside this house because I want you to see the old world charm that downtown Harrisonburg has to offer. When older homes come on the market, I just think it's one of the coolest things to go look through. We're going to go down to the basement. You're going to see a limestone or what we like to call here a bluestone foundation. You're going to see original hardwood floors, original uh, handcrafted trim work in there. And I think you're just going to really like some cool spaces that I'll leave as a surprise. So uh, if this is your first time here or if you're returning and you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit like and subscribe and click that notification bell. I want to keep you up to date on what new videos are coming out. We really try and get one a week or so out. And uh, yeah, I would love to see you guys come back. So thanks for joining me today. And with all that being said, enjoy the tour. All right, as we come up to the house from across the street, you can see there's plenty of parking area here in this driveway and pull off section, as well as plenty of on street parking. Just need to have a permit with the city for that. And this is actually the main entrance to the house, but it's on the back of the house. So I wanna make sure we get a good look at the backyard from up here before we do anything else, because it's a really nice corner lot here. Nicely landscaped, you guys too, very flat and some tasteful choices. Um, nice scotch pine in the back corner there, as well as some really pretty crepe myrtles there along the fence. Also, we have a large garden area, a lot of pumpkins and maybe some cucumbers and stuff in there right now. Um, little fire pit as well, and just plenty of room back here to gather on the deck, in the yard, and uh, just very nice. So, all right, let's check out the inside. Here we go. So this portion of the home is an addition to the original home, which is why it's going to look a little bit different than the rest of the house. Uh, but we've got nice oak hardwood floors here in this very sunny, bright section of the house. So I think this would be referred to as a sunroom and probably be a good family room uh, in this section of the house. So I uh, just saw some beautiful skylights there. We'll get another look at those in a second. Uh, but check out this kitchen, you guys. Plenty of room in here overlooking the sunroom space. And yeah, now you can see those skylights a little better. Loads of natural light. Really cool feature of this house, exposed brick from the original home. This is the original exterior of the house here and now is obviously a part of the interior so cool little way to honor the original house beautiful cream colored quartz countertops with flecks of gray and even a little green in there check out these beautiful pendant lights really cool pattern on those and in this kitchen we've got everything state-of-the-art this is just a beautiful stainless steel Samsung refrigerator with a freezer on the bottom, a buffet built into the wall there, and some shelving, as well as your standard cabinet setup, and plenty of storage throughout. So we've got a closer look at the sink here, stainless steel sink, love those curves on that. Here's a look at the side street. And that box beam overhead that hides the, uh, the header going across in order to support that opening there. So pretty spacious addition here. This is nice. Oh, and one more thing. There is a, uh, a little cupboard built into the wall here. I love nooks and crannies like that in these old homes. Really smart to make use of that space too. All right, so that's the kitchen. Next, we're gonna go to what I believe would be a dining room. So um, that 
shelving unit there, that built-in, would have initially been an opening into another room which has been closed off. Uh, but now we have this dining room area uh, that's just going to be nice and open and bright. Really cool old chandelier there too. Uh, definitely uh, gives you a taste of the old days. Um, we're walking again on oak hardwood floors here that have been stained kind of a cherry color. And one thing I want you guys to notice is all the trim in this house has been untouched other than stain, which is so cool because usually in these older homes, you know, somebody at some point has painted over all of that trim and is just kind of a bummer. Um, so nice to see the original trim work in this house untouched. I love these old door locks, you guys, how these work, these latches just adds to the charm. So this room would be a family room, living room, however you want to refer to that. And if you're not familiar with radiant heat, that's what those metal units are, those are radiators, and those put off really nice heat. Um, one thing about that doorway we just walked through I wanted to point out is those are pocket doors in there as well which are pretty cool to divide the space. All right, and here we have a first floor master. So this bedroom has two closets. Nice, light and bright, and nice piece of artwork there, a beautiful mural by the owner right on the wall. And that's where that opening was into the other room that's now been closed off to make this a nice bedroom space. Pocket doors in that opening as well, and this goes right into the first floor full bath. Love this paint color in here. Like Robin Zig blue, really pretty. Thanks to that window, we have plenty of light. Of course, there is privacy glass in there. And a really cool porcelain pedestal tub and an updated vanity and commode with ceramic tile floor. Check out that light fixture, you guys. That's a pretty cool globe hanging there. And then we have a linen closet here as well. So that bathroom also serves as the first floor bath. So you have a, a master and hall bath access to that room. And then here we have another room that I think would be a great bedroom as well as an office. It's a little bit smaller, so maybe a child's room or you could put a probably a full size bed in here would be about as big as you'd want to do. So there we have a closet and then just sort of a little nook and a small loft area that might be kind of cool for something. Um, that closet also is built out to have a stackable washer and dryer installed. All right, we're going to head upstairs now. But before we go all the way up, take a look at this window. I mean, how often do you see stained glass anywhere besides a church? What a cool little touch. Love it. So this space up here is technically an attic, but we're calling it the second floor because there's no door blocking it off. So let's head up here and you can see the owners have left the eaves exposed because they really love the look of that and just the geometry of it. It's pretty cool. And all that foam is insulation. That's a spray foam that's been installed and painted over. So this whole area up here has newer carpet installed and it's just very large space. So this is basically over the dining room, that uh, family room, and then also the master bed and bath. Cool skylight up there too. So the lighting in this space is pretty creative. We have the skylight, we have several windows, and then also some, some track lighting in a few spots too. head down here so we can see the view 
Yep, that's right out onto Wolf Street. So that's the front of the house there. And then all along the walls here, you guys, is what's called beadboard. Some people call it wainscoting. Uh, but when it's unfinished like this, that's a pine beadboard that you're looking at right there. And guess what? Surprise! We've got a full bath up here. So natural light coming in through that glass up there. We've got the full molded tub, shower combo unit, the commode, a pedestal sink on this side, and even a little shelf area. Really nice to have this second bathroom up here in this studio or large master bedroom or a rec room, playroom, crafts room, whatever you want it to be, get creative. And the whole space is heated and cooled by this mini split system right here by Mitsubishi. And let me tell you, it was very comfortable in there. Very comfortable. All right, so nice mixture of old and new in this house. And really the only thing left to do besides looking at some things outside is to go down underneath and take a look at what is holding this house up. So let's check it out. I'm gonna head down here into the old cellar. All right, check this out, you guys. So this space is relatively dry. I mean, usually these cellars are wet, but this is nice and dry. Um, right there is the boiler. And check out these walls. So 1949 is when this house was built. Those are huge chunks of limestone native to our area that's just so well known. I mean, you've heard the term rock town. Um, that's why. <laughs> so uh, we've got all kinds of quarries guaranteed. These all just came locally. And back in 49, they were stacking them up and using them as foundations. Super, super cool. So they do have a dehumidifier running down here, which is good because when you have a cellar like this with all the concrete and stone, uh, especially in the summertime, you know, that warm air from outside can cause some condensation. But I'll tell you, um, that dehumidifier is doing a great job and keeping it nice and dry down here. All right, let's head out into the backyard. So here you get a better look at sort of the backyard and the back of the house. Here's that little fire pit. And there you have a nice view of the back of the home. And here we're going to head around to the front. Now the very front of this house has a privacy hedge. And then it has this nice, really cool looking arbor to walk through. So let's do that. Awesome front porch. If you're like me and you like sitting on front porches with a glass of iced tea or something, depending on the time of day, then you would love this nice front porch, especially the privacy. Nice to have that hedge blocking the road. I mean, you can just enjoy yourself back here and not worry about people looking at you, which I think is nice. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for the tour today of 508 East Wolf Street here in beautiful downtown Harrisonburg. Thanks for joining me. Remember to hit like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you would like future updates about videos that are coming out. Again, my name is Zach Copes. I'm a realtor here with Klein May Realty and the Harrisonburg Homes team. You're a realtor in Harrisonburg and Rockingham County. So if you have any questions real estate related, please feel free to reach out to me anytime. And remember, it's your move.